Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Andrea Chisholm. Remittances coming into Jamaica increased in August. The Bank of Jamaica says net remittance inflows amounted to 289.7 million US dollars. That's a 16% or 39.4 million US dollar improvement over August 2021. The central bank says the jump was partly due to more money coming into to finance back to school act activities. This was the first increase in remittances since April this year. Still, net remittance inflows for the April to August period decreased. During the period, 1.39 billion US dollars came into the country. That's a 0.4% or 6 million US dollar decrease when compared to the same period in the 2021-2022 fiscal year. The world economic outlook for the remainder of the year into 2024 is seeing a sharper than expected slowdown with inflationary pressures proving more persistent than anticipated. Addressing the World Economic Outlook press briefing today, the chief economist and director of research at the IMF said the crisis of cost of living, tightening financial conditions in most regions, Russia's invasion of Ukraine and the lingering global pandemic weigh heavily on the outlook. He says monetary policy should stay the course to restore price stability. The IMF director says structural changes can further strengthen the fight against inflation by boosting productivity and re relieving supply restrictions. Executive Chairman of the ATL Pension Fund Keith Collister says it is unsustainable for the BOJ to continue intervening aggressively in the foreign exchange market. Since Friday, the BOJ has pumped 60 million US dollars in the foreign currency market. They used to say they don't like disorderly FX markets, which meant big moves. But now they, but they basically changed that policy really from January to sort of say we really want it very very stable, right? Now, I don't think they want to do that indefinitely. Um, it's definitely a change from what they were doing before. I understand why they're doing it. Um, obviously, it's not something you can do indefinitely here. And there are many people who are worried about, all right, what happens at the end of this period? Um, do you have a big jump in the exchange rate at that time? Uh, it's a good question. I think their view is, let's just get through the next 15 months. The BOJ is hoping for inflation to return to its 4 to 6% target range over the next year. The U.S. dollar is being sold for an average $153.49. $111.88 is the going rate for the Canadian dollar, $170.40 for the pound, while it's costing $151.48 for the euro. And to the stock market now, the JSE index gained 293 points today, while the junior market index lost 15 points. Leading the advances, ISP Finance Services, Cygnus Credit Investments, U.S. dollar shares, Sterling Investments, U.S. dollar shares, First Rock Real Estate Investments, and Dolphin Cove. Decliners were led by Iron Rock Insurance Company, MPC Carbon Clean Energy, U.S. dollar shares, MPC Carbon Clean Energy, G West Corporation, and Stanley Motor. And that's it for the Business Day. I'm Andrea Chisholm. Good evening.